Hey there, everyone. This is a sound. <laughs> Last time. Oh. Uh, okay. I pressed the wrong button there. Hey there, what is that? <laughs> Last time we met the dreadnought and got obliterated. Okay, yeah, so that's why these walls are there. Yeah, I kind of figured that one out. Oh, jeez. Good thing we got all these flying rocks everywhere. Man, they just keep on shooting. Shooting, tooting. There you go. Let's hide here now. It's very fortunate for me that um, their, their aiming laser is visible. Oh, I can just like even... Oh, you destroy that rock though. That's not good. Uh, adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Okay, we're getting kind of underneath you there. This is really rad. Alright, we're, we're about as close as we're gonna get. Hey, buddy! My health disappeared! Uh, but they're aware, like, unless that turret is automated, they're aware I'm here though, right? Alright, well, yeah, the red lights are on, so... Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Skulls on the walls. Right, this is a bomb deployment tube, so here's the bombs tied up. Okay, and yeah, my friends are here. Sweet, we're going to the engine. Alright, you're gonna help me, huh? Man, they're just putting everything on my face. So how do we open these, though? Like, is there, like, a trick to open these? Do you shoot the skull in the face? Do you light it up? No? I'm just gonna drop, if you don't mind. Alright, well, one of these doors is gonna open. Well, this one's open. Maybe we're gonna go in a series of door-opening adventures. Uh, maybe. Alright, it's a big old corridor. Oh, there's the engine room. Those are just literally furnaces. Uh, Alright. Sounds good. Got some air- Oh, that has a face! Uh, made it to the heart. If your heart doesn't have a face, you're not actually alive. Uh-oh. Alright! He's gonna hammer it! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Calm down, but no, no, let's, you know what, yeah, I guess Getty's in charge of the pacing now. <laughs> you idiot. You absolute buffoon. So are we dead? We somehow, wow, Alphonse is even still standing. Well, I mean, it didn't instantly obliterate the Dreadnought, so... Yeah, um, we got a case of the coma here. Oh, am I directly controlling on fonts? Maybe, I don't know. Leave this one to him. Yeah! Press a button. Oh, this is an auto runner now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can I double jump? No. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so maybe the fire doesn't hurt, turns out. Yeah, okay. Uh, whoa! I'm a little confused. No kidding. It was shot when- No, it was not shot when we got here. It's probably because of the fire. Okay, we can go there. Won't be able to reach it. What are we gonna do about it, Alphonse? We're gonna wake up all the- all, all this? this was- Okay, that was the Alphonse action-adventure period. But it's Otis time! Yes, we do. Big eyes, uh, big concerns. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. All right, you guys teleport to my hammer space. It's all good. Okay, so oh wait, you know what? I bet I'm supposed to like, whoosh or not. Okay, you gotta just time it. Well, timing things in a video game. Yeah, it might happen. All right, I got hurt in a dumb way. This is the cage. I pressed up. Now I just gotta wait. Or not? Yeah, up. Uh, okay. I guess when I didn't press up immediately, the game thought I was Tess hanging out. Oh, that was it. Okay, that was a dreadnought. <laughs> now you can laugh. Is that really what we want, though? Oh, he's getting the chuckles, too. Oh, look at that. There's a giant grin on Otis. Alright. Oh, look at that. Nothing bonds people together like absolute terror. 
<laughs> uh oh. These guys want to escape too. No, see, just pretend we're prisoners, Alphonse. It's cool. This makes sense. Well, you know, gumption and powerful allies that lift us pretty early. Although he did help. He did contribute. Okay. I mean, we can still escape. We do have Owlblad. Created. Are they robots? Because everyone's got this, like, metallic face thing going on. Like, they could be masks. But I do wonder. Because they have that, those glowing red eyes, too. Yeah, and I noticed yesterday. He's here. Uh-oh. Maestro Molstrom. Okay, then. You, oh, what? You'll go ahead? Wait, wait. What does that mean? Oh, he's got the earthquake steps. Yeah, we saw your silhouette. <laughs> Captain Molstrom. He is unfazed by the ship being on fire. Wait, so did we accomplish nothing? Um, yeah, I will as soon as the game gives me control, Getty. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow, wow, good job. You did it. No, fly away, you idiot. That starburst effect was so cool. And... I, you can fly, Otis! You have magical wing capes. Ooh. Your tick sound is like, low-key, like, bullet. What are you doing here, Captain? Why are you so rad? <laughs> wow! Welp. Ain't got no problem with nothing. This is well. Hey, cool. Otis failed again. Oh, jeez. Well, that guy's just dead, probably. Yikes! <laughs> so that's what that little lock thing he does. He has does, huh? Makes you a fighting game character. Alright. Oh, that is really well animated. So... <laughs> so, that just happened. Wowie zowie. Oh, does this cannot catch a break? But see, I wonder, like, let's say we actually ran away when we, we, we plated up all that engine. Would that have actually done anything? Like, I feel like it just wouldn't have worked. Like, it just wouldn't have accomplished nothing, anything at all. Because the exact same thing would have happened, except Otis would have been thrown off the ship. And would have... Everything would have happened while Otis is still, like, outside, like, having a terrible time. You just, like, wouldn't have fallen, become unconscious, but I'm gonna read this. Yeah, book! Why not? Okay. Okay, so it's someone who knows me. Can I never be the same? Yeah, things are not going great right now. <laughs> well, let's see. Loading. Loading. Oh, it's her. All right, so we're we're back in home, huh? Well, our little settlement seems to be doing fine. Villas, Villu, I forgot a name. Villy, Villy people. No kidding. Okay, so the capital just blew up. <laughs> That's, well, it was the it was the Advent Outpost, so it wasn't Advent itself. But I don't know anymore. Cause like, if this is actually the real cattle, like what happened is just like terrible. 
Well, he hates me, so he'll probably talk to me, I guess. I'll check up on him. For the good of the community. But, oh. Okay. I doubt he's dead. Oh. <laughs> you guys didn't have a... What would you do with your dead? Well, there's a spot now. Down there. Wiggling. Screen transition. Scrolling. Yeah, it's all red. I'm gonna eat all your fruits if you don't mind. I have to consume. Alright, is it cool with you? I know you're probably proud of your tree, but it's just like it's very surprising that the branches are holding up. Honestly. Hey, how's Bungo Man? I can't speak to the soldier. Hey, how's it going? Uh huh. I was. Wasn't very useful, but brave I was. Can't speak to Sleepy Man. Waiting for a bus that will never come. How about this house? Looks like a hobshire. Well, there's drums. Accurate statement. I've never found any, like, penguin friends that I'm supposed to be finding. Teleport button is not teleporting anyone. Hey. Want to shout at me? Maybe that'll make you feel better. So it was Advent that was destroyed. It wasn't, it wasn't like the outpost. It was Advent itself. The world just got absolutely changed before I got to know it very well. Yeah, we saw what happened with one of them. Hi. I can't help but notice you're speaking to me. Man, not even a chance to protest, huh? He just sopped away and looked very sad. What if I danced? Does that help? Texas and what if I just jump down this pit? The game doesn't let me. He just flies automatically. Alright, speak to Getty, or let's have a cutscene. Hey, Alphonse! I shouldn't shout out your name like that. Sure, okay. I forgot one of my houses. How's the old man faring? That's what really matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. They're talking about graveyards. I think I have a graveyard now. Meet the graveyard. Uh, that... What is you? Are you a person? Pip? Oh, yeah, we got... We got... We got... We got Advent people here now. Why do you look... You look like a robot. This is gigantic scissors. You're freaking me out. There's Professor Face. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, they opened up. That opening is just big enough to store that thing he, he had in his hands. So, that checks out a little bit. Uh, very good question. Uh, I have no way of answering at this point in time. Uh, no kidding. Alright, let's graveyard it up. Whoa, I'm rolling on the ground. Oh, it's you! Well... Tripped on a blade of grass, it happens. Where are you gonna go? It sounds like everything is like far worse everywhere else. Like, this is relatively unscathed, considering to the widespread destruction we have just witnessed. Well... You do you, I guess. Oh. Hey, Getty. If we never had a graveyard before, we sure made those graves real quick. This is a really nice looking spot. Like, this looks incredible. Hi. 
I cannot comically roll towards you, Giddy. I guess maybe in the past it just threw their dead over the cliffs? Like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what all these islands are floating above. Is it just like a giant sea, or if there's like another world below? Is this a Jetson Flintstone kind of thing? Oh man, don't cry. It's like, yeah, we failed them and that we were trying to do something, but even if we succeeded, would it have changed anything is the reality. Like, that's what's messed up to me. We were sent on a mission that could not succeed. What? We got to dodge, like, massive structures of explosions and cannonball. The advent experience. Yeah, I I feel like we did. With the abilities we have, with what we are able to do. Like, you saw that guy. He can crush a tower just by thinking about it, basically. We're still mostly sinews and bones. So every time I move towards him, it goes into a new cutscene. Well, to the continuation of the cutscene. Well, this could be the new capital. Sure. Everyone's getting there. We're gonna go on a brand new adventure. Oh, I never really know what to do in these videos when we're in a purposefully downer kind of moment. Guess I'm trying I'm trying to press spinning button or flying button. Uh, there's the end of the graveyard. Here's a shot for the thumbnail. <laughs> Hiding behind a gravestone. Oh, that is such a beautifully drawn scene, though. Again, the fact that all the art is one person is... Like, this has been a massive undertaking. Alright, we're outside the graveyard, so we can start goofing around again and spin around and stuff. I completely forgot where my house was. It's been kind of a bit. Oh, but here's my vegetable garden. Is it just at the bottom? I think it's just at the bottom, right? I live in just this tiny little house. Hey, everyone's here. It's fine. And that's- that's- makes sense, honestly. I mean, could you, like, just not change your attire so you look like an Adventese? Adventian? Ad Advento? Molstrom and the Pirates. For fun? Like, he looked like he was enjoying himself. Like, let's be clear here. Maelstrom was having the time of his life. Maybe Alphonse knows. Alright. What are we learning? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're all created. So you guys are robots. Okay. Okay. I mean, we saw a giant rad robot. Frog, you know, by like the ancient owls. I'm not that surprised. It's the red light eyes that really spell it out last time, I feel like. I feel like what we want to do then is like if. Oh, but he. So if the captain is owl made, maybe that's why getting the owl relic powers him up. Because we're going to say, what if we get more? Then we get more powered up, but if we're well, your 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 now creation so it could work. I'm kind of spitballing here about things I don't know anything about. Wow, look at this shot. Okay. 
Looks so mean because of the eye shape. Hey, these owls have beaks. But they have normal feet and hands. Oh man. Oh, this is a fascinating sci fi concept I love. Automatons that keep on automating long after their purpose has been, like, just rendered completely obsolete. Yeah? So there you go, you got your, your little ro war bot. They don't got no war. Huh. Piratus. So he still would have been doomed to eternally want to destroy everything. It's just that now he's a lot more optimized for it. Like, it's kind of tragic. Like, he exists to be... to destroy. He, he has to destroy. He has two of them. Okay. He had one before. Now he's got one. Oh, no, no, okay, he, the one at the start of the game, and in Advent, there was another one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And there were three Advent, uh, like, middle capsules, so there must be another one somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think that's our next goal in the game, is to get that. Just to keep him from being unstopped. So now, right now, he's even stronger than he was when he was just... Like destroying crowds with a th with a flick. Mhm. Mm yeah. Be a room call on the floating... <laughs> Just a casual entire continent. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Fly high up into Strato. Even higher up. We are all underneath this continent, apparently. Yeah, and then I'll use my teleport button. Okay, well, we got a purpose, we got a goal, next time, like, th this is clearly Act 1 that just ended, and next time, the start of Act 2. See, normally Act 2's the dark one, but they didn't lose any time here. <laughs>